Another beautiful morning at Telmithrin. <laughs> Look at all that grey. Eh, he could be so much more if he applied himself to the magical arts. And... Huh. Hello. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Is that what you're here for? <laughs> Sorry, you'll have to find some other way to stroke your ego. I won't take no for an answer. Really? So? Come at me. Hey! Oh. Ah! You're not too bad. Sorry about that, Elvis. Ow. Idiots give me a headache. Hmm. That could be useful. I suppose. Somebody's going to have to take care of this mess. So, what? You just let him walk right in? Didn't even bother to ask who he was? What exactly are you doing? Yes, I'm trying to summon an Ash Guardian. I'm just having trouble deciphering Master Nerloth's handwriting. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to concentrate. Good luck. I'd better go tell him about this. I didn't even have to whip out my other hand. Uh, here we go. Hello, Master Noloth. Good morning. Have you seen Verona? I'm hungry. Uh... No, I haven't seen Verona. I was actually... Well, find her. Tell her I want apple cabbage stew with some canis root tea. Of course, Master Neloth, as you command. Finally. Someone who recognizes my importance around here. <sighs> so, uh, you think someone might be out to get you? I don't know, but I mean to find out. I still have some research to do before I'll know anything for certain. Right. Cause, um... Uh... We just had a bit of an incident outside. Don't worry, I took care of it. Now, where did I put... Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and find Verona for you. Sure. Send the lizard out to go do the dirty work. What happened here? Oh, is it just ash storming out? That would do it. Lovely. Excuse me. Yes? Have you seen Verona? The steward? Alright then. You know the steward, don't you? Right. This is going to be fun. Hello. I'm not leaving this kitchen until that thing is gone. What thing? You mean the guy outside with the spells? I took care of him. Have you seen Verona? Is it tea time already? Well, Neloth's just going to have to wait. 
Verona went to Raven Rock to arrange for supplies. Ah, of course. I will go find her then. Mephala cloak you. And also you. Let me guess. Talvas managed to summon an Ash Guardian and then went inside to hide. Quite possibly. This is a bit obnoxious, isn't it? Oh well. The perpetual dust. Yes. Right. Where would she be? What route would she take? Hello. From that look on your face, I'm guessing you've never seen a silt strider before. That's not what the look on my face is. Thank you. Until next time. <sighs> right. Is that her down there? No, that's a piece of bush. And a spriggan. And Dusty, who I've met before. It isn't quite as bad as getting called Outlander in spite of having been raised. This is going to be fun. Oh dear. Ah. Not good. Not good at all. Ah. Come on. Well, time to switch to something else then. Nasty bastards. I just need one good shot. Ouch. Maybe a couple. That one didn't get hit. Ah! There's Verona! Hit me. Come on. Thank you. Ah. Ah, my curse. been mining for the last week. Come on. Ouch. Lovely. And now I've got ash in my scales again. I hate ash spawn. All right, Verona. Sorry to see you go. You were one of the sane ones.
should have known better than to go walking out into a bunch of ash spawn. But I suppose. They do rather just pop up out of nowhere, don't they? that so much. Not a lot that can be done about it, though. Where's the master? There he is. Greetings, Neloth. Have you found Verona yet? Yes, I could rarely use some tea. The grand only has a common oh, good. I think Talva summoned an Ash Guardian outside, by the way. What? That fool. His incompetence made this mess. Let's see how he decides to clean it up. Uh, of course. Also, Verona is dead. Dead? Well, that's annoying. How did she die? It looked like an ash spawn attack to me, but it could have been anything. And there are more and more of those things showing up around here lately. Oh, I suppose you'll have to find me a new steward. You'll have- uh, Try Raven what? Rock. They are in awe of me there. I'm sure almost anyone would be willing to serve me. Of course. What kind of person should I look for? Hmm. Excellent question. Once word gets out, there will be a lot of people to choose from. Someone with a brilliant mind and a robust physique that is blindly obedient would be ideal. <laughs> oh, and they need to know how to brew tea. Wolves always waters it down. Of course. I'll be back. Uh, don't take too long finding me a steward. Why not tell us? Probably doesn't matter. I won't be long, Master Neloth. <sighs> God damn it. I could take the Silt Strider to Raven Rock. That would be quite nice. I wouldn't have to trek through all of this. Hopefully, I don't get ambushed by Ash Spawn again. I suppose I could stop for a moment or two and take care of my scales, but. Oh boy. Ah! Hello! There's only one of you. I was wrong. Oh. 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 Ouch! Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Ah, oh, these bastards. Stop doing that. I'm just going to hope they got stuck and to go on my very way. Son of a the book in my dream showed me. Huh? There's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. What? They said it couldn't be done. They said it. They said it, but they were wrong. Hello? To touch the sky like a dragon. The book in my dream showed me. The book in my dream showed me. What are you? It's working. 
I'm flying! I'm really flying! <laughs> what? Oh! Oh, uh, why is every other wizard on this blasted island an absolute idiot? I'll take your staff, though. What were you up to? I think you've been had, my good sir. And so have I. I have had enough of this. Some moisturizer. At least get rid of the burns on my face. Of course, I will still be walking into Raven Rock smelling and looking like... Barbecued guar, but ah, and this must be the bulwark over here. Yes, good. Hopefully there's a way down that doesn't involve me cascading down a cliff. Indeed not. Boethia, Azura. Probably shouldn't look too hard at them. Right. Someone in Raven Rock to be a steward. Supposedly they're in awe of him here. There's the rock. <laughs> the eponymous rock. I wonder who invented barbecue. Was it Argonians or Khajiit? Bosmer. They seem the kind. Right. Ask people who don't have jobs already. That's the first step. Excuse me. My husband Bendel feared visitors would shun Raven Rock. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, I'm going to be putting up with a lot of this, aren't I? May your path be free and from danger. And you? Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Otherwise, you'll answer to the Redoran Guard. Good to know. Would you like to be the new steward of Telmithrin? I'm perfectly content with my current position. What is your current position? Why are you so suspicious? I have to be. A second counselor? The security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. <laughs> ah, my apologies, Miss Sarah. Remember, we are watching you. Uh huh. <laughs> Ooh, that was a fumble. Yes, it was. Now let's try this. Thank you, Sarah. Right, he's got a job. He looks like he might be more right on. I'm not going to bother him. Who's that? Somebody had a rough night, apparently. And there's no one in here. Oh, I was wrong. Excuse me, my good lady. Miserable. Just miserable. 
Oh, I hate this place. Oh, perfect. How would you like to be the new steward of Telmithrin? My father needs me. He can't run his market stand alone. Huh. Besides, Neloth is loony, a skooma addict. He wanted my father <laughs> to import a white mammoth alive. <laughs> of course. Uh, I can't say as I blame you for your, uh, your opinion of him. Keep yourself safe. Solstheim's still a dangerous place. It surely is. Thank you for your input. And good luck. Alright. This island's nothing but a pile of rubble. What's the point trying to make a life here? Drayla, I have a message for you. Tell my father if he wants to speak to me. He should do it in person. It's not from your father. It's from Captain Veleth. Oh my goodness. Who? I'm so sorry, Geldis. Please, tell me, what did he say? He said he'll meet you where you met for the first time. He said you'd know what it means. Uh -huh. I do. Thank you. Right, and what about you, good sir? Can I interest you in a position at Telmithrin? Counter offer. You sit down, we talk business. Seems to me you're not familiar with Raven Rock. And if you're a mage, you might be able to help me. Right, well, you've certainly piqued my curiosity. I suppose the least I could do would be to warn you about Neloth's ways if you're going to be working for him. Who said anything about me working for him? If you're not offering, what use are you to me? That was a low blow. I'm going to ignore it for now. I'm not offering myself, but I know someone who's been complaining about working here for a few months. Wouldn't join the guard, he's not a good fit for that. Delmithrin might just be the answer he's looking for. Now we're talking. Who is it? First, we're gonna talk about you and how you can help me. I'm probably not much use to you as I am now, except as cover. Are you a mage? I'm confused is what I am. Not surprised. Yes, I'm a mage. I'm a retainer of House Telvani, formerly under the guidance of Master Azeron Andrethi over in... Good enough for me. Wait, you're a retainer? Yes, I'm an Argonian. I'm a retainer. Master Andrethi was... not like the other wizards. Certainly nothing like Neloth. Or most of the Dunmer in general, if you're from the mainland. My apologies, Sarah. Hmm. Well, continue. Until a few weeks ago, I was serving under Captain Veleth in the Red Ring Guard. I've been tracking a group of pirates. They lured me into an ambush and sliced up my hands along with the rest of me. I can still strap a shield to my arm, but... Even after as much restoration and recovery as I've been through, I can only barely swing a dagger, much less a sword. The counselor gave me an honorable discharge a week back, but... I'm still keeping my ears to the ground about those bastards. Ah, and you need someone to tag along and be your sword for you? In a manner of speaking, sword, hammer, wrath of the reclamations, doesn't matter much to me. Let me get this straight, Serio. You want me to help you take down a pirate gang nasty enough to have gotten the better of a veteran guard, in exchange for information about someone who would work as Neloth's new servant. That, or you could tell me someone who'd like to get out from under Neloth's nose for a while, if you know someone. <laughs> Sounds like a fair trade. I think I'm the second most powerful mage in that tower, and completely unrecognized for my talents. His research has gotten me nowhere, and... Hmm. Perhaps you can help me in return. How's that? Neloth has something I want. It probably doesn't matter much to anyone who isn't a mage. Now, I'm not quite sure how someone like you could help me prove my worth to him, but perhaps. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather not deal with that Telvani bastard any more than necessary. But, if it gets us to a point where we can take on the crew of the Sea Tiger, then sounds like a deal. If we throw in one more coin to sweeten the pot, so to speak. I'm already going to help you deal with your pirate problem, what else is there? I'll probably be more used to you with functioning hands. 
think Neloth might know a way to fix them. Oh. I doubt that. His expertise lies mostly in conjuration, destruction, and enchanting. Possibly a few other schools. I don't think restoration is one of them. And even if it is, I'm not sure a spell exists that would be able to help. But, I think I have an idea for how you could work around it. You're not fusing a sword to my arm. <laughs> of course not, Sarah. I'm just wondering if you could tuck a staff under your arm, or if that would be too heavy for your hands. It would at least give you more options besides shield bashing. Hmm. That might work. Except I don't know magic. I don't know what I need to know in order to be able to use one of those. I'm a retainer of House Telvani. I can teach you. It's really quite simple. If you say so. Do we have a deal, Sarah? I suppose it would be too much of a pain to lay out the entire contract considering everything and all of the potentialities. We could if you want. You'd have to write it down, though. Ouch. Well, suffice to say, we are, for the moment, some kind of investigation team. If you want to think of it that way, the name's Solvon de Ferrain. Cactus in Bloom at your service, Sarah. I also go by Cactus Andrethi when I have to deal in paperwork for the mainlanders. Cactus. That's not a name I would have expected. Master Andrethi had an unorthodox sense of aesthetics. Or, put plainly, he was a very strange old man. Right. Cactus. Can I call you Cactus? Of course. Well then, Cactus, it's a deal. Let's go ask the cook upstairs. I'm sure he'll say yes to your offer. Ah, the cook. Maybe it will be helpful having you around simply so I don't embarrass myself. Let's away, then, and talk to the cook. Lead on, Sarah. Oh, you don't have to call me Sarah. Although, I suppose, I'm not going to complain. You already have. I suppose... So, you mind telling me why you look like you've just come off Red Mountain itself? I may have gotten into a bit of a scuffle with some ash spawn. Gods, those bastards have been attacking the bulwark for months now. Welcome to the Retching Nets Corner Club, me lord. If you need anything, me Master lord, will be happy to help you. You would be a perfect fit, wouldn't you? Would you like to be the new steward at Telmethrin? Um. Uh. You mean leave Raven Rock for good? To go work for a crazed Telvani wizard? Sure. Just let me get me things. On second thought, never mind. I can get new stuff. You seem awfully eager. Well, I've never been one to pass up an opportunity. Sorry to run, but I'm off to my new job. Uh, of course. Well, you were right. Hi. Now let's get out of here before Mr. Cerro here gives you a nastier look than he's already given you. Mr. Cerro? He's the one who looks like he could be more at home. Hmm. My insight wasn't too far off. Now then. If you're determined, we can still go ask Master Neloth. Ah, oh, that reminds me. If we're going to be going out of town, I have something for you. Already? Mm-hmm. I may have picked up a couple of staves along the way. You might find them useful. Let's see. What do you prefer, lightning or ice? Ah, uh, I don't really have a preference. High spikes it is, since I'm the lightningy one. It'll be nice to have someone standing in front with a shield. What was I talking about? Master Noloff. Right. We can go talk to him if you're determined, but... 
I'm mostly going back that way to report the steward and see if he has any other work, anything that needs to be done. Or tell him to stuff it. I'm with, uh, Redoran Guard now? Ex Redoran Guard? As you were. And yes, X, unfortunately. Ah, uh, the pirates rather... ...made a mess of my ads. What's going on there? Is that Captain Veloth? Cactus, you might want to hurry. Alright. Who's this guy? Right, if you're going to stand in front, you'd best do it. No other way it could end. Captain Veloth, you all right? Ouch. Am I all right? That's the question. Are you? I'm... Ah, uh, I get headaches when I use too much of my magic. What happened to your shield? Well... You're right about the staves. They're a bit heavy. Right. <laughs> this could be fun. Captain Veleth, was it? Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. I'm still here, Veleth. I don't think he was talking about you. I don't know either. It was a joke. What were those things? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Ah, right. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. Uh, pardon my... lack of words. Right. How did that bring this... How did... I can't think. I cast too much. What are you doing out here, Belif? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. I could lend you a hand. For a price. Hmm. I think I could talk the counselor into paying you. And I could use an extra pair of hands. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. I... Sorry about that. You two know each other well? Fairly. Very well, where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Aspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Turn up? Hopefully there aren't any leaks. In the... I don't know. Why do you, do you think the attacks were coming from here? I don't. All I know is that the Aspawn are coming from this direction. So this is as good a place to start as anywhere else. Good thing the farm's been abandoned for a long time. I'd hate to see what they would do to an unarmed farmer and his family. Hmm, of course. Report back to me if you discover anything unusual. Well, I'm not going to loot him. Not with you standing here. You're an interesting sort, aren't you? I have been called worse. How did this not burn up? What is it? Ah, uh, somebody has declared war on Raven Rock? General Falk's Carius. That's... impossible. Why? You'll see. Have you found something? A note. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's Carius. But that's impossible. That's what he said. Why? Well, 
Carius was the Imperial garrison commander at Fort Frostmouth. But he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. Oh. There's no way he could still be alive. <laughs> I can think of a couple of ways. What do you want me to do? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm going to head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Right. Will do. Sirrah. Be careful. Sarah? Sarah? This General Curious sounds out of his mind. Captain? I've just called him Captain. Ah, okay. Captain it is. Ford Frost Moth. Mouth Moth. One of them. Ford Frost something. Moth. You happen to know where that is? It's about halfway from here to Telmithrin. Now, Law's not the one sending these things, is he? No, in fact, we had an ash spawn attack. Just ankle biters. I hate those things. Just this morning, as a matter of fact. So it's not us sending them. Or if it is... It isn't me, and it isn't Neloth. Let's stay away from that. Things that linger around hearthstone deposits tend to get up and walk. Is that what's causing this? It might well be. I've often wondered about those things. The deposits of red ore just scattered around. I don't need to do that, there's only one of them. Hi! Ah. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. You'll keep me from overextending myself, even if you don't have the shield out. Glad to be of service, Sarah. It is very strange to be on the receiving end of that. I'll be honest. I'm used to calling people Sarah, not the other way around. In fact, I'm used to being called Outlander in spite of the fact I was born on the Telvanni Peninsula. And raised by a Dunmer. Well, I suppose hatched is the better phrase. You're quite the talker, aren't you? I have my moments. I come by it honestly. Come on. Oh. oh, there he is. Don't run too far off. I'd like to keep an eye on you. I can keep an eye on myself, thanks. Men, an invader has entered the fort. What? Prepare yourselves for an ambush. Ah, well, this is fun. Fort Frostmoth will ah. never fall. Long live the Empire! There you are. Crap. Where's my knife? You know what? I might as well use one too. This bastard. All right. Ouch. Ah, 
Ah, now my scales are all ashy. And I have a headache. Ow. More of you! Where is soul? Oh. Having a bit of an issue, I see. I think this thing's out of charge. Well, it doesn't matter, I'm getting my charge back. And missing with it. Keep hitting me, friend. It'll only come back to haunt both of us. Ow. You're right. Eh, you know. The caster's curse. Do you need a different staff? If you have one. Golds. You look like you're in a bad way. Ah, well, you looked like you were in a bad way earlier. Here. That's still got charge in it. Oh. Like I said, I don't know how to use these things. Right. Into Fort Frostmoth we go. Which way is the entrance? That one. Before we do... What are you doing? Focusing. Letting my magicka recharge for one thing. You don't follow the reclamations, do you? Mm, not one bit. <laughs> but that's alright. I'm connecting with my ancestry. Hopefully... It helps. Oh, I'm hitting you with that. I... Uh, you might want to stop. Okay, Eldritch Blast it is. Oh. Uh, oh. Hello, over here. There we go. What was that spell? I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. That uh, was a little thing I learned from studying shadow magic. I was going to ask if you wanted anything in here, but... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Things I'm not good at. Ah, that goes out. Good to know. Oh, to be better at alteration, I could just pop those open. Oh. Ooh, melee! Soul? Are you kidding me? I'm still recovering, give me a break. You could have mentioned that when I agreed to hire you. You didn't hire me. You're not paying me. I suppose that's fair.
This is going swimmingly. Ouch. Give me another moment, please. Uh, sure. There we go. Okay. Your hands are glowing. Mm-hmm, they do that. Right. I hate this. And also this. There's probably spiders back there. Uh, maybe. Oh, indeed. I don't like this at all. More hard stones. And a geode. Hmm. Good to know. Oh. You're built pretty sturdy for a... for a mage. Am I? Blame Noloth. He's had me mining hard stones for months. I can't say as I'm a fan. Ah, don't blame you. Look, if you're not going to use the staff as a staff, would you like me to take it back? Well, you might as well. I don't really know how to use them, and I'm better with a shield anyway. Alright. It was worth a shot. That's locked, of course. This looks interesting. Coffins. One moment. Soul, you work better with a shield if What are you doing? I'm beginning to regret my decisions. My hands are giving me problems, don't worry about it. I'm going to worry about it because you're supposed to be my shield. There. Help you strap it to your arm. Where are we going? The other way. Here's the key. Oh. I recognize this journal. So that's where she's been. Great. Great. We're leaving. We're leaving right now. You were not leaving. We still have to find General Carius. I mean, true, but I know who's behind it, and she's not one to be messed with. What? Are you a little scared? I'm a little scared, yes. Yes, indeed. If she were here, we'd probably have found evidence of her by now. Who is she, by the way? Ildari. You say that name like I should know it. Eh, uh, you shouldn't, but I do. This should help. 
Ooh. I'll take that. That's a nice shield. Hey, Soulwander. I found a thing you might like. Look at this. You're kidding me. How did that get there? Eh, yours now. Looks good on you. Is it enchanted? It seems to be. Which means it should help. Right, where are we going? The other house, probably. The other building? This could be fun. I'm going to do this again. That's gonna get tiresome real fast. Have patience, my veteran friend. Isn't that one of the things that you're supposed to be good at? I don't know what all you've heard about us, Redoran. Patience is not generally one of my strong suits. This is going to be fun. Get your shield out, soul. Soul. This helps. Soul? Yeah. Alright. Oh. So, you've got some kind of issue. Are you not used to combat anymore or something? No, I'm plenty used to combat. I just freeze up and expect myself to have a sword and I don't. Ah, right, so we're both... We're both a little bit... <laughs> not the best. Here. I'll give you a stick back and see if you use it. Right. Let me look around. That'll be too heavy for either of us, probably. At least we can go tell Captain Veloth the good news. We didn't die. Alright. Whew. We lived. Aye. We lived. What have you got on your head? Oh, it's a circlet. You like it? I I'm not gonna date that with an answer. Alright. Back to Ravenrock we go.